it Hi, out. nerds! Welcome to <laughs> Insert Coin to begin. Take two. Try that again. <laughs> Bobby yells, "You cannot have the mango. <laughs> have a the mango." Hi, nerds! Welcome to Let's. Oh my God! Take three. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> It's just like I'm filming on song. I'm going to screw this up 12 times until I finally get frustrated and walk away. <laughs> <coughs> then you're going to yell at me and yep, it's all your me fault. some more. And... Go have a smoke, come back, start it again. Yep. It'll be 10 o'clock before we get through this intro. All right. Hi, nerds. Welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play Episode 4. The way the show works is we have a, just a few questions in a short amount of time. Uh, three minor questions, one of which will always be, what are you playing? And the other two get five minutes each, and then we finish it up with a boss fight. That's normally a more difficult question that deserves the rest of our time, and hopefully the most amount of argument. I'm Chachi from InsertCoinToBegin.com. Joining me this week, as promised, we have women on the staff. They're real. They're real, <laughs> and they're here. I exist. So, introducing for the first time on Let's Play, Cat, aka at Snarky Tech on Twitter, and then joining us again is Rizzy. Hello. That's all. All right. So, you guys ready to do this? Let's go. All right. First question, five That's minutes. Ray Jenkins is shit. <laughs> what are you playing, and did you play last week's challenge, Kat? I did. I did Slice the Fruits. I am also playing Mass Effect 3, Neverwinter Nights. Um, I just got into that. Uh, oh, Dragon Never Age Origins and Skyrim. I love Neverwinter Nights. I used to hack I the crap out of that game. I know, I'm excited. It's the first time I've ever played it, so I've heard a lot about it, so I need to go. Riz? Well, first of all, I'm playing uh, Hitman Sniper Challenge. Uh, I'll be doing a review on that in the near future, sometime this week. Um, also, I'm playing SimCity Social Beta, which is the Facebook game EA is producing for SimCity. And also, uh, I've been playing some bored Minecraft, you know, just chopping wood, mining stuff. <laughs> and oh yeah, uh, 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 Mass Effect 3. Uh, did you play the challenge? Yes, I did. What'd you think? I loved Food Ninja. <laughs> uh, it, it, so I, I played the challenge. I downloaded the challenge. Uh, it was brought to us, uh, it was given to us by a uh, friend of the show, Wheels, uh, because <laughs> last week we didn't have a gaming challenge. And so uh, we asked the audience, and we got Fruit Ninja. Uh, I downloaded it that minute. I can honestly say I've played a good two hours of Fruit Ninja since last week. It, it's just, it, it, the games are so quick, and it's so easy, and it, it's right there when I need to play it. A question, what did everybody play it on? Because it's got to be a different experience, right? Uh, I played it on my G2 Android. Okay. iPhone. Yeah, I played it on my phone. Okay, so nobody did the Connect version? No. Nope. I, I wasn't going to waste points on that. That's <laughs> just dumb. I got it for free on my phone, and it goes with me. I, that's all there is to it. Um, so, yeah, it, it was great. Um, <laughs> I've also well, you can been... also bring your Connect if you want. No, I'm not taking my whole gaming system with me. Because, I, I mean, then i got to find a place to set it up and power, and then I look like an idiot playing video games in a public place that involves awkward karate moves at the TV. It's just weird. Uh, I'm also playing uh, Cut the Rope Still. Um, AJ mentioned a game last night called Flow. Um, I found a Android version of my phone. It's called Flow Cube. So it takes his version... Puts it on a cube, and uh, makes it better. So yeah, suck it, AJ. <laughs> um, and I've also been playing uh, Lego Batman Two. 
but you guys will read about you'll re- my review for Lego Batman Two will be up tomorrow. So eh, I'm thinking ten ish. Tomorrow at ten. Seems like a good time. Nine Central. Yeah. Ten Eastern, nine Central. All right, on to the next question topic. Um, these the the topics this week were given to us by Fuzz. By Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Yeah, by Fuzzy, um, who couldn't be on here. Uh, real. When it comes to playing sports games, uh, do you tend to stick to realistic or ridiculous sports? And the example he gave was uh, NFL Blitz or Madden. Uh, Riz? I'd, I'd like the craziness of, you know, NBA jams over the, you know, blandness of the whole Madden series or or the NBA 2K series or something like that. It just seems more fun. I don't, I don't like the realistic aspect of Madden per se, but I do like the funness of something like Mutant League Football. And I, that was on the Genesis, and I played tons of when I was a young kid. But yeah, the, the wackiness, wackiness factor I see, like of having this, these gigantic guys just go out there and killing each other, um, do does take take fun to a whole new level for me in playing football. So yeah. All right, cat. Cat. Oh, I'm sorry. My sound went out. <laughs> um, I would actually prefer realistic games. I consider myself to be like a hardcore football fan. So if I'm playing a football game, you know, I want to play a game that's sort of like the simulation of a real thing. If I want to play something that's like cartoony or an arcade game, I would play something that's, you know, not football. I would I would pick a different game. All right. I, see, this was a hard question for me because I, I look for different things in different games. If I want to sit down and play sports, I have to first decide if I want it to be realistic or if I just want to uh, tackle someone and watch their bones break. Uh, it, 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 it honestly depends on what kind of mood I am and to, as to... Um, which what realistic or wacky sports I play. However, I, I do have to uh, put out there that Mutant League sports is greater than all other sports games ever. Mm-hmm. And it's not just the football, but they also did Mutant League hockey, which is amazing. So Agreed. I, 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 yeah. I, Mutant League is greater than all sports games ever. So... That's they need to ma- remake that Mutant League. Oh, yes. I would, I would love Mutant League for the 360. I haven't played that before. It, basically, it's a, it's exactly how it sounds. Um, it sounds awesome. <laughs> it, it, it's, uh, it's Blitz with uh, aliens, robots, uh, basically monsters. It's, it's kind of like a, a space football or hockey league with mines and explosions. Yeah, it, and there's moves. whole. There's holes on the field. Uh, parts of the field are missing, like a whole five yards in field where you'll just get sucked off the field and the play ends. Um, if you hit someone hard enough or constantly enough, they'll just explode and you won't be able to use them for the rest of the game. <laughs> and, and it's to the point where, I mean, even the plays are ridiculous. Um, you can uh, bribe the refs. Oh, that and, looks awesome. Yeah, they'll call they'll call just random penalties on the other team. And then uh you can kill a bribed ref or you can uh you can do a a quarterback kill, which base is basically <laughs> a sack where the intent is to just destroy their quarterback. <laughs> and it's up in the chat room on the uh, video feed right now. But it he just said, "Oh, he just said hockey." Uh, Mutant League football with Bones Jackson. Yeah, that was amazing. Bones Jas- yes. Jackson. But uh, yeah, it's it's just it's the pinnacle of ridiculous sports games ever. It'll never get better than Mutant League. 
when it comes to wacky sports. All right, so the uh, what awful game from years ago should be remade as a tribute to its awfulness. Cat. Ah, years and years ago. Well, I was thinking about it, and it took me a long time. And who would want to make an awful, an awful game? So I was going through this list, and I found E.T. the video game, and it just sounds terrible. And apparently, it's made all kinds of worst video game lists, um, worst video games ever. And it's just—I don't know. You'd have to. I can't even talk right now. I'm like all over the place. But um, I guess that would be it. It's based on the movie. Its graphics are pretty bad even for that time. And it just seems to go on from what I've seen. Well, I've never it, actually... I can't think of a video game that I've played that's just awful. Because I'd probably stop like after 30 minutes of playing. <laughs> well, the, the thing, the I'm just thing rambling. With, I, I couldn't think of anything, really. Uh, the thing with the E.T. video game is that for the the amount of budget it had... It What's should, that? I said the, the thing with the E.T. video game and why it was so bad, it's that because of the, the high level of budget that it had at the time... Oh, yeah, it yeah. It shouldn't have been that bad, but mm -hmm. it was. So that's why it makes... It, it's, it stands out above the rest as awful video game. Uh, Riz? Again, I have to, have to agree with Kat, but why are we doing a <laughs> re-release of a crappy game without changing anything? Well, obviously, we're not re-releasing re any of these games. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's I just, know. It's uh, just, I know it's yeah, but the argument, you know, why would anybody want to remake an awful game? Just, but, like, what would the purpose be besides putting up videos on YouTube? Yeah. Well, it would be... It'd be along the lines of... Uh, like the greatest hits collections that all these systems, all these companies do. But it's awful. Exactly. It would be the uh, exact opposite of that. Okay, I got you. Like you would take, you would take the, uh, the greatest hits collection and then right next to it, you would just put, and th I'm just throwing this name out there, but biggest pile of shit collection. <laughs> and you would charge like five bucks for it. But who would buy that? People would no. You don't understand. People will buy crappy video games if it's cheap enough. Mm -hmm. Just because there's some people up there that have to have everything. That is, or true. they would buy it and they would call or text their friends and they'd be like, "Ha ha! Guess what? I just bought for a buck." <laughs> because that I mean, true. honestly, I own crappy video games just because. Anyhow, but, go ahead, Riz. Yeah, okay. <laughs> my 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 choice for this one, I went back and forth from the uh, Friday the Thirteenth, which absolutely sucked. <laughs> but I went with uh, Bubsy 3D. If you don't know the Bubsy series, it's a game from. Uh, I can't even talk looking at this right now. Sword. Oh shit! Wow, that looks that amazing. But still, <laughs> it's 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 probably one of the worst. War. built games I've seen where there's 3D graphics in it. It just looks unfinished and if they were to bring that out on on a shit list this would be one of the top games. It just looks weird. Uh, yeah, I, I remember this, Bubsy. Uh, Bubsy. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't good at all. Um, like the first two games were bearable. At least. There's more than yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was this was the third in the series, and it was like the first two were on what Ninten Super Nintendo and Sega. Yeah. This one came out on the PlayStation. Bad. It was. It, it's, they beat the horse on that yeah. one. Um. Mine, I picked Rocky Road. If you never heard of this game, the never Wikipedia did? page is only two paragraphs long. The company that made this game hasn't done anything except for remove all of their their games from the live marketplaces, and that's it. And they did that last year. That's the last thing this company did. And I, I'm going to read you the the uh, the two paragraphs. 
because I, in words, cannot explain how bad this game is, so I'm hoping the plot proves it. Uh, when Rocky begins eating at Pie Face Balboa's restaurant, he unintentionally eats an envelope with Balboa's protection money. As a result, mobsters... Shut up. <laughs> so many noises. Uh, mobsters take Balboa's daughter. Balboa asks Rocky's, Rocky to rescue his daughter, promising him an all-you-can-eat buffet for her return. As Rocky, the, the player plays a rodent who must use four various hairstyles... Oh, to wow. rescue the daughter of the owner of Rocky's favorite eatery. What? Exactly. <laughs> the game has 18 boards. And it, it it's bad. I uh, it, You played wow. through all of this. Yes. Oh my gosh. I did. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to play this, Chachi. <laughs> But it looks yeah, terrible. But yeah, it, I mean, honestly, you, you oh run God. around, you get you get that spiky hairdo, you get a uh, mohawk that you can throw around as a boomerang, uh, you get dreadlocks, which you can use as a uh, grappling hook, and you get um, a, 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 like a beehive hairdo that's a spring, basically. Uh, you turn upside down and bounce off your hair and reach a higher platform. <laughs> so, wow. so, um, yeah. That, that, that just looks, no, oh, no. How long did it take you to finish? A half hour? <laughs> I, I mean, tops. I, the, that's why I never shut it off because it didn't, it, it didn't take that long to beat. Uh, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby brought up the angry video game nerd. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of going to hit Bobby the next time I see him for even asking if we've heard of him. Um, anyhow, time for the boss fight. Uh, the biggest question of the show this week is which character has the biggest bandwagon? Cat? Oh, Mario by far. I mean, if yeah, somebody a, doesn't play games, some, they're going to know who he is. He's the most recognizable, in my opinion, and I think he probably has the biggest bandwagon. I, I don't, I don't know if that's a fair assessment. It, it, of course, Mario is going to hu have a huge fan base, but I don't right. know if that would be considered bandwagon or not. Yeah, I, I know. I for, thought about that too about the question and. I was kind of stuck on that, so but Mario is the first first um, character to come to mind. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. uh, Riz, well, I went a whole different direction, um, but it, <laughs> I kind of punned in bandwagon. But still, it is one of the best, better uh, characters out there I've ever like, I've played with, and um, Rockstar brought out. CJ from San Andreas, Tony from Vice City, but one name that that I really enjoyed playing with, and I think a lot of people did, was John Marston from Red Dead Redemption. I mean, and I still see people play this to this day without any, without any new plot twists, without any new DLCs, without any new stuff. Because John Marston is, I forget who plays John Marston in this, but he, like, he was one of the better guys I've played, and that's saying something coming from Rockstar, who, who epitomizes the uh, single player that you have to take on, like uh, the role of, and having him being like the big, big cheese is pretty cool. Ooh. And get it. He, it's 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 set in the western. Yeah, I, I got bandwagon. You. I got your <laughs> pun. <laughs> I ought to <laughs> smack so you, you. You won't. I know. Um, <laughs> I. It took me a while. Um, but I I think, uh, the true answer to this question is Sephiroth, from Final Fantasy VII. Um, and the reason I say that. Is because not Final Fantasy X. I'm gonna keep it up, Riz. Keep it up. <laughs> um, and the reason I say this is because 
he he doesn't make many appearances, but he still has a stupidly huge fan base. He's only been in like four games. Yet, I mean, he's one of the most popular out of a series of, like, I don't even know what number they're up to now. 13? Like 13, 14 games. And it, it, to be that huge out of making an appearance out of, in one, one game in a huge series, um, he was in three of the Kingdom Hearts, uh, two of which he wasn't a playable character, and didn't have a huge part of the storyline. And uh, some Japanese fighting game. Hmm. Like, those are the games he was in. Yet, his fan base is huge. And he was in, yeah, Advent Children. And, I, I mean, it, the fan base for Sephiroth is, is rabid. It, it, to the point where... Kingdom Hearts didn't want to put him in a couple of the games because they didn't have a valid reason for him to be there, and that would have pissed off the fan, like the the fans of the game. Like they they recognized enough that they can't just throw him in to throw him in. Remember the reaction at Video Games Live for One Ring Winged Angel, yeah. his theme song. I I mean, he he gets he gets everything. So that that's that's who I picked. Like, what are some other ones though? Like, uh, like I had trouble trying to figure out who really had a big fan base though. Like, I, I I saw in the chat room Sonic, but I think his is kind of winding down along with Mega Man. Like, but who who else would qualify? You think? Uh, Snake. Yeah, Snake. Snake yeah. Um, Duke yeah. Nukem had a pretty huge, had a rabid fan base. That got killed. Yeah, yeah that, that, that died. That, that, that died destroyed. instantly. But um, I've been playing through uh, Duke Nukem Forever. Uh, yeah, that's it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's it, it's so linear. It's ridiculous. Like I and I have 3D on my Xbox 360, and I keep wanting to go back to it to remember the way it was. So it's just it's too grotesquely. Like, the part where you have to pick up poop? Why? Why? <laughs> you know? Seriously. Uh, who else can we say would have a rabid fan base that doesn't really deserve it? <laughs> Sonic says Lo Wang from Shadow Warrior. <laughs> you know, actually, Shenmue has a huge fan base and doesn't really deserve it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh no 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 no! I can I can I defend Shenmue because we bought Shenmue for the Dreamcast, and we both played through Shenmue, and we just walk around town getting those collecting toys. toys. That was fun though. And then there was the um, then there was the um, uh, uh, forklift races and the dock. I mean, it felt like a real thing, and it had the atmosphere. It felt realistic at the time on a on a Dreamcast, and uh, and I haven't played like the the sequel on Xbox or anything like that. It was just so incomplete and so different. It was before its time. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was after its time, and it was still bad. Well, you think this, is, this the... is before we had, like, a huge, consistent world like you had on, like, Grand Theft Auto. Well, I mean, it, here's my thing, all right? For what the game was, and, it, like, the terribleness of the game, that guy does not deserve the rabid fan base that he has. Like, people get pissed off because they haven't released a new Shenmue game. And I don't understand why. Well, that's like, you, you play through two games of Shenmue and you go through the storyline and it was promised to be in three parts. What if they didn't release the third Mass Effect for some reason? I don't play Mass Effect. It wouldn't but, affect but, but, but No, I'm saying, <laughs> hypothetically, you don't invested, say that. You invested in two games yeah, I know. promising a third to close everything out. You got whatever cliffhanger was after the second one. And I don't know what Mass Effect 2 is. I still have to play through it. Um, <laughs> oh, the extended uh, cut ending came out today for Mass Effect 3 also. Yeah, it didn't really affect me. Yeah, well. <laughs> too, busy. too busy with Be Lego Batman 2. I am too busy with Lego Batman 2. That game is huge. <laughs> it's insane. Sir, you are in the minority without playing Mass Effect 3 right now. Yeah, I know. That's fine. I I'm good. 
You sure? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna run out and buy it tomorrow. Let me just put it that way. It'll it'll be there. <laughs> it'll still be there, Chachi. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I probably still won't buy it. I don't know if I join wanna, us, Chachi. If I want to play a space shooter alien game, I'll get Halo. Well, that was coming. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably get it. <laughs> All right. Um. So we're just about out of time. Uh, I'm still waiting on the link for this week's challenge. I have it in the chat. Oh, I don't see it. Um, this week's challenge is Happy Wheels. Um, I have no idea what this game is. There. What is it? Happy uh, Wheels. I, I have, yeah, I have no idea what this game is. Uh, it's a pretty weird game. <laughs> it's from Bobby, um, so... Is this what we was playing last night in the Hangout? Yeah, this was the way we was playing in the Hangout last night. It's, it's basically you drive around in multiple either created bases like from the, the guys who created like, total jerk face or you can do like a user created level which is kind of uh, weird some of some of them are stupid some of them are copies but some of them are pretty good so you have to fish through the uh, the rubble and get them but it was basically a couple of characters and they just drive around and sometimes get killed huh all right. And dismembered. So, and there's a big fat lady. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, this week's challenge. It'll be, it'll be in the newsletter. It'll be on the website, and it'll uh, be it'll making be its way everywhere. It'll be making its way to the Twitter account here shortly, won't it, Riz? Yes, it will. All right. Um, so uh, <laughs> was that? A th- y- yes, it will. That was a threat. <laughs> Just in case you were. Confused as to what that My was. My guy fell down and he can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and sword <laughs> failed. So um, that's all. That's all we have uh, for you this week. So you can uh, check us out at insertcointobegin dot com. We're on Twitter, insert coin tb. We're on Facebook, Google Plus, uh, Reddit. We're mm-hmm. everywhere you can find us. Um, so we got new stuff every day. Every day. Every single day. And you can tune into this show Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. roundabouts Eastern Time. Uh, so for Riz and Kat, a real woman lady person. Yes, I am. Real lady person. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm Chachi. Thanks for watching, nerds. <laughs>